Hello, introducing Hem and Co. <clears throat> My name is Henry, and I'm the CEO of this company. Hello and good day, everyone. I am Chelsea Joanne Lamam, and I'm the Chief Technical Officer of Hem and Co. Hi, I am Putri Naifa as the Chief Financial Officer of the Hem and Co. team. Hello, my name is Parazaki. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Hem and Co. Hi, I'm Chika Singh, the Chef Marketing Officer, CMO of Hem and Co. Team. The value propositions that Hem and Co. try to convey are convenience, new taste, homemade sauce, and supper. Convenience in terms of the customer can buy food without going out of KSJ, and new taste in terms of the combinations of sauces, which is chili and black pepper sauce. Homemade in terms of the homemade is made by our Malay team members that ensures that the food is always halal and supper in terms of residents that can always eat during night time where no, where no food stores are operating. Our customer segments are divided into two which are KSJ and Vivoso Suites residents. For KSJ, the hot dog business is available from 7pm to 12pm which we started on the 11th of November. The services that we provide are include, included as self-service and also delivery service. Self-service concept is that we leave the some hot dog made on in front of the elevator and then delivery service is that when they PM us or personal message us then we for some orders then we can give it to them. For one of our team member Chelsea she stayed at Vivo Solo Suites, so she expanded the ham and co business there where she is able to do the pre-order and delivery service for the residents there. To maintain the lowest cost, research on the price of ingredients was done. We went to many places such as NSK, Desco, Aeombic and also Econsafe to look at the prices of all the ingredients that we needed. So after that, we compare the prices of each ingredient and we come up with the best one that is suitable to us. During the first week of testing, the combination of sauce is chili sauce and black pepper sauce. However, some people complain that it is too spicy, so we changed the black pepper sauce to some cheesy sauce. And also, we took in feedback after we sell our products so that we know where we can improve our products. Like, some people complain that the bun is too too flowery. After that, we found another brand of the bun which is cheaper and then it tastes better and softer. We also added pepper wrapper after the first day because we found out that it's more convenient and more clean for customers to bring or to buy the hot dog. Each of the members went through the process of interviewing a successful entrepreneur from Mobius Digital Systems which is Mr. Justin Liu. Mr. Justin Liu told his successful journey of his life and this inspired us, him and Co to start a small scale business which is to sell hot dog. Next, the members go through the process of creating and planning the hot dog business and it is carried out in the form of BMC video and pitching video. For the execution stage, selling of hot dog is carried out at KSJ and Vivo Soul Suites. The last stage is the documentation where the profit is calculated and the process of whole business is written into a report. So, Hem and Co have uh, some marketing strategies. We have been using social media such as WhatsApp and Facebook to market our products in KSJ. Uh, for KSJ and Divorce Soho, we provide our services with self-service and then we also do some pre-orders and also delivery. Um, for the first week that we before we sell, we do uh, some free samples, we give up to some customers and then we ask them for their uh, opinions about our sauces and our buns. After we got the feedback, we changed our sauces and our buns. And then after a few weeks, we changed our sauces and our buns again from black pepper to cheese. Hem and Co, uh, we do for, uh, some business activities for during, before our selling. We collect RM250 as our capital. With that money, we will use it to buy ingredients such as hot dogs, buns and sauces. And then we also buy containers so that we can store the hot dogs when we make them every day.
4K SGM, we cannot stock our products every day. So we have to buy it every day and we have to go to the store every day. We have to stock like we have to go to Tesco or EconSafe and then we will make it on the same day as we sell it. But things are different at Vival Soho Suit. They can buy it in bulk and then they have the method to store it because they have a refrigerator so that they can keep the hot dog much longer. During our business, we use marketing as a most important key factor which can increase the sales and the profits. For both KSJ and Vivo Soho Suits, an advertisement is created to WhatsApp and also posted on the Facebook page named Hamdogs. The advertisement is distributed to many other WhatsApp groups as well. However, the timing for when to distribute the advertisement is planned. For instance, if the group is planning to sell on a certain day, the advertisement is distributed around 5 or 6 in the evening, which is the usual dinner hour for KSJ students and most people. Here, we are showing the process of making the hot dog. There is not many hot to be done during the preparations of the product because of the product is really simple to be prepared. Firstly, we boil the hot dog and then we, we take the hot dog buns and we cut in the middle and then we just put the cupai sauce and then the sriracha sauce, sauce and then we wrap it with the wrapping paper as a final product. For customer service, we have received a complaint that a customer said she might not know that our product is halal. So, we ensure that the ham dogs are done by a Muslim uh, cook so that it is halal. And then, good customer service is provided by offering to deliver the food product directly to the customer room. These customers are mostly those who had contacted us or pre book the product through Facebook Messenger and also WhatsApp. Delivery service was also provided for volunteers during the, the program at uh, Tarin Jaya. For KSJ, self-service hot dog is available at Block A, Level 6, Block B, Level 3 and Level 6, Block C, Level 6. At this floor, the hot dogs can be seen in front of the lift as shown as in Figure 4.0. The product was sold at a decent and affordable price which is 250 cents per unit which became quite popular for a while before competition increased in KSJ. Feedbacks regarding about the sources were obtained. Therefore, for the second week, <coughs> we changed our black pepper sauce to a cheesy sauce. Overall, the customer were very satisfied with our product. After we done with our sales during the week, at the end of the week, we will make a small meeting and then we will ask about how is how is our overall performance for our product. So the total profit and total loss are also calculated during the prepare, during preparing the report for the experiential entrepreneurial activities. I am going to talk about the financial planning. So our business had a starting model of 250 ringgit where each of our team need to pay for 50 ringgit each and initially we decided to sell our hot dog for a fixed price of 2 ringgit 50 cents but after week one we decided that the price will be changed according to our promotions that we offer in order to gain more buyers the promotions that we offer are like buy four and gets one for free and also buy two for four ringgit the ingredients needed cost for about 40 ringgit for each week while the hot dog sell give us about 95 ringgit average for every week. The, we made the most profit on week 2 with a total of 154 ringgit and 50 cent. This may be due to the less, less competition uh, during that time because uh, most of the other teams have not uh, yet begun their selling. After calculation, we have a total of 599 ringgit and 30 cent for the hot dog sales for 6 weeks. And after taking back the 250 ringgit model, we have a total profit of 349 ringgit and 30 cents. The place of business launcher has been divided into two places, which are the KSJ and the Vivo Solution. There have been several problems that we have to face. In KSJ, the hot dogs are, uh, are mostly got stolen 
as uh, the hot dogs are left unattended in a container in front of the lift while other team members are doing other works and another problem might be due to the weather uh, since there were no fridge in KSG so we need to buy the sausage every day before selling to keep it fresh problems occur since it was a raining season and we only have a motorcycle as a transport Competition started to increase when other groups started their business so this caused us many leftovers after selling throughout the night uh, there are also complaints on the taste of our product some people find the taste of uh, the hot dogs too overpowering to their liking problems started to occur at Vivo Associates when the building officials had sent a letter banning from conducting any internal business of any sorts inside Vivo Associates on the third week of selling this has caused us a lot a huge loss as Vivo's whole suit have made better for better profit compared to KSG. So we strategize marketing plan for this area is needed as the main venue for business launching is bad. For the solution in the case of KSJ, because of the inconsistent weather, place of selling is limited and will only sell the products during certain days. Besides that, the quantity of products sold is lowered throughout one day to decrease the loss. We also take in comments and opinions of customers to keep a good customer relationship so that they will become our returning customers. We adjust and change the amount of sauce as initially we give too much sauce which causes a lot of people to feel overpowered by the taste. We also change the type of bun we use into a more delicious one. As for Vivo Sumo Suits, after the ban, a backup plan is discussed and decided to become a supplier to a volunteering program which is held weekly at 7 day Adventist English Church Battalion Giant. We are able to come up with a deal where sell in bulk quantities of the products once a week depending on the program's terms. For lesson learned, the comparing prices among two supermarkets is very important. This is to ensure that no over budget occurs and customer can enjoy the hot dog at a lower price which is RM2 ringgit 50 cent. Team cooperation is vital as this is a team game. The process will become more effective and resulting in higher sales. In addition, everyone also acts as a delivery man as each of us is responsible to certain block in KSJ. Moreover, proper planning is important. This is to prevent the wastage of hot dogs as during the first week, a total of 20 hot dogs is prepared and it is found to be too much. The leftover is sold through promotion like buy to free one or RM1 and get 50 cents per hot dog. The amount of hot dog is reduced to 15 depends on the situation. The packaging of the food is also important. It is found that male customers are more comparing to female customers. The idea of pepper wrapper is added in to attract more female customers. The idea is proved to be work. Maintaining customer relationship is vital. A good social skill is able to ensure that customers will keep on returning to buy our product. We take in criticism and improve on the force. Being open-minded is vital in a business. I'm going to be explaining the conclusion for our overall program, which is the experiential entrepreneurship activity. So, my first point is, this program is a medium to enhance students' business skills, especially in communication skills. My second point is, this program provides critical thinking, especially in the marketing and promoting process. This is because sometimes when we market and promote our products, we have to think about how to really attract our customers and we have to think about which keywords to use, what phrases to use that will really attract the attention of the customers. Not only that, we also have to use social media in marketing and promoting our products because social media these days is how most of our organic outreach can be received. Besides that, this program also promotes creative thinking when it comes to profit gains regarding our business launching. It was really hard at first because we had to set a goal of getting a profit of above 300 ringgit, but it was achieved because 
we were being patient and determined and we really put into work and thought about how we are gonna do our business launch in order to maximize our profits and decrease our losses. Throughout this program, we also learned that we should be very open-minded and adaptive towards the ever-changing situation or problems that we are facing throughout our business sales. We get to experience the team play surroundings. Every time we held a meeting, we make sure that everyone's point of view is taken into account and we always try to come up with a solution or a conclusion where everyone can agree on. And last but not least, this program has really increased our level of determination and patience when it comes to achieving a goal. So that's all for the conclusion from me. And we would like to also thank Dr. Ari for this opportunity that she has given because without her, we wouldn't have been able to experience all of these wonderful things that may become a big help for our future if we want to enter the entrepreneur field.